guys, I made a table lamp that's got light at the top and at the bottom. This lamp is so exquisite and I love the way this turned out. And especially the fact that you can have lighting reflecting on whatever it is that you put at the bottom. I'd like to share with you guys how I made this. Now let's go ahead and get started. I got two 5x7 picture frames from the Dollar Tree. And I removed the picture that comes with the frames because I'll be making use of just the glass. And now I cut out measurements from a foam board that I will be using and I covered them up with mirrored reflective papers. And now I'm going to be gluing on the picture frames to the boards that we just covered with the mirror reflective paper. And this is how I'm going to be aligning the picture frames onto the board. One is going to be at the bottom and this will be at the top. And when you turn it from this view, they're going to be the sides of the box. And now I took bling wrap and then I covered the edges of the ones that I'm going to be using for the top. When I was done, I turn it over and at the middle, I will be gluing on one push light. After that, I glued it on to the top of the box. Now for the bottom, I'm going to use something that looks like a command strip or it works like a command strip. I will be cutting them into smaller sizes that would fit for the bottom in a straight line so that I can easily remove and put on the bottom whenever I want to change whatever that's inside or whenever I want to change the batteries. Now this is optional. You can leave this step altogether and just have the lamp without the bottom. And like I said, this step is optional. You can leave it open if you like. And now I took a candle holder that I got from the Dollar Tree and I glued it at the middle. I got this chopping mat from the Dollar Tree and I will be using it as the shade. Now I'm just gonna be cutting them out into the measurements that would suit the design that I'm trying to make. chopping mat comes two in a pack so this is for the first mat and now I repeated the same thing for the second mat moving on I took craft sticks and I glued three together I made two sets of these and then I'm gonna be gluing them at the sides of the mat that we cut down. Now this is to increase the height so it will be easy for me to glue on the pieces that would form the lampshade. You have to make sure that the craft sticks flush together with the chopping mat. I did the same thing for both mats. Using these sides that are together and similar in shape, I will be gluing the smaller part onto the larger one. And as you can see, the craft stick is what's gonna hold it in place. I did that for both sides. And now I'm going to be gluing on the other part to complete the overall body of the lampshade. And now I apply glue at all of the corners just to make sure that I close up all of the openings. I got this paint stick from Walmart. And now I'm going to be measuring it to know exactly where to cut. I also cut out a smaller piece 
to use in the design. Longer stick will be glued like this and the shorter stick will be glued here. I made a pair of three craft sticks glued together again and after measuring two inches away somewhere in the middle and the inside I will be gluing the craft sticks that I glued together right here. I painted both paint sticks silver and I will be gluing on the paint stick at the point here. Now the craft stick is going to give it a more secure balance and I glued both wood together with wood glue. And I also glued the smaller stick in the middle. I got these gems from Walmart and I will be using them to decorate the sides of the lampshade. And I used this bling wrap to cover up the craft sticks. These are the push lights that I will be using and I'm going to evenly place them in the lampshade and glue them down. And now to glue the pieces together, I'm going to flip this over and then I'll take the base and glue it at the middle. Now for the base, I'm going to be gluing on the candle holder at the middle and you can change this up to whichever thing you want to put at the middle to decorate the inside of the box. Now I'm just going to turn this and place it on top because we already have the strips that's going to hold it together and this is what it looks like. I didn't like this part that was showing right here so I covered the whole thing with gems. This is the first look though because I made another look. I took bling wrap and then I made strips to move vertically and horizontally and then I used one inch squared mirrors to decorate the middle. I also glued gems at the bottom of the candle holder. I really love the way this turned out and it's so confusing to know which of the two looks I like. I mean, I like this one and this is when the light is on. It has a unique way it shines, but then I also like the other one. You can switch up the flowers or you can put any other decor item that you like inside. A table lamp of this size in stores is pricey, but then I'm so happy with the results because I did not spend too much money making this. Let me know in the comment section below which of the two looks you prefer, the ones with the square mirrors or the ones with the gems. And remember to like and share. And also remember to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.